Hello and welcome to Around the Region. I'm your host, Whitney Stinson. On the program tonight, this weekend kicks off Lord Minster's Autism Awareness Month. Find out how you can get involved and support one group's noble cause. But first, they've been playing music together for 45 years. They've entertained Lord Minster numerous times and now the front man for the Irish Rovers takes the chair. It all starts right now on Around the Region. Thank you so much for joining us. In studio now is George Miller from the Irish Rovers. Thank you so much for coming in You're today, George. You're very welcome, Whitney. Nice to be here. Thank you very much. <laughs> Definitely. Now, you are celebrating four decades of music. Over yes. four decades. 45 yes. years in and music. I, and I haven't got a clue how we did it, so don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's 45 oh, that's years. all my questions. Oh, good, good. <laughs> ask 45 away. years. I guess, how, how has the crowd changed? Well, they've got older like we have. That's about yeah. all. Uh, actually, we're also getting young people again. Like the little kids that we sang the unicorn to were uh, probably eight years old back in 1968. Well, they're all married now and they're starting to bring their kids. And I'm saying, I'm never going to get retired because it's like another full circle coming around. But, um, <laughs> but it's nice to see them. Like Kids, for some reason, love to dance to the drunken sailor and whiskey or the devil, all these great songs. And I say, ah, sure, won't do them any harm at all. <laughs> 45 years is a long time in music. And you yes. just, you just uh, mentioned uh, the unicorn, which is sort of uh, mm -hmm. your breakout song do you still enjoy singing it well we do only because uh, well not only because it's a great little song but it's the one that took us from the clubs of, of the day in 1968 it was all folk clubs it wasn't the singing pubs that you have today <gasps> so uh <laughs> no so we enjoy singing the song because it took us out of that atmosphere and put us onto the stages of the world basically yeah. and we're still on them so that's um i can never not sing the song you know it's just um we sing it. It's in your blood. It's in our blood, and it's also friends of ours, Peter, Paul, and Mary, about oh, a few years ago when they were still touring, they said that we're no longer going to be doing Puff the Magic Dragon, so don't bother asking for it. Yeah. Their ticket sales plummeted for like a year. Then they come back and said, <laughs> oh, we were just joking. Of course we're going to sing Puff the Magic Dragon. So, yes. So you have to do the classics for the, we do. For the crowds, we right? We do, yes. Uh, now, you guys are all from Ireland in the band. We're all born uh, and raised there. But, but you formed in Toronto in 1963. We did. Yes. And you're, you're mainly a Canadian band, I guess. Well, we do are. You, do you identify more with uh, Irish music culture or, or Canadian music culture? Well, I'll, we better both. I mean, since we're really making our living doing Irish music and Irish traditional songs, and I write the songs that sound Irish, I suppose it's probably more Irish but we are Canadian citizens yeah. now and um, very happy and proud to live in this country plus you don't need a bulletproof vest when you're walking down the streets of Victoria like you do in <laughs> Belfast so I'm, I'm just joking it's it's good now in Belfast it's all things have cleared up and and people are starting to get along and they're inc and, you know they're getting married and all which is important when the young people they get together and, and date and marry that sort of gets rid of a lot of the problems. Do you guys think that you're instilling a sense of uh, multiculturalism in sort of the, the Canadian music scene? Uh, a wee bit. Uh, it's it's like the bands coming out of the Maritimes, like the Rankin family and all of that. They are in, they're, they're more of a Scottish influence, but I suppose mm -hmm. we're the same with the Irish. It's, uh, yes, it's, but you know, the thing is about Canada, which I love about it, it really is made up of so many different people. There's Scots yeah. and Irish and Italians and Germans and everybody all over the world has come to Canada and they all seem to get along, which is wonderful. and. When we first immigrated, that's what we noticed. Uh, like in Ireland in those days, you really couldn't, if you were a Catholic, you probably shouldn't play or, or intermingle with Catholics and vice versa. So when you came to Canada, all of a sudden, it didn't matter if you were sitting in the Legion and there was a Catholic having a drink and a Protestant beside him. It was great. And that's what <laughs> Canada was so important to all of us immigrants because of that. You guys have underwent a lot of changes over the years, especially uh, band member wise mm -hmm. as well. How do you yes. instill that same sense of, you know, the, the Irish Rovers from 1963 in, in your band today with new well, members? They're, they're all still from Ireland, the boys that have, mm -hmm. have joined. Like Jimmy passed away about 10 years ago, so John Reynolds took his place, and my brother Will retired um, about 17 years ago. So we have other, my cousin Ian is now in the band, and he was just a little boy of this age when we first started, <laughs> and uh, so now he's one of the Irish Rovers, and I think it's the pride of the name of the Irish Rovers. We've done an awful lot of work all over the world in our 45 years, and when you join a band like this, you have to look back and say, well, they've got quite a, a history, so I better do my part in right. it as well. So that's what it is. It's just uh, they, like, we wouldn't have somebody in the band that doesn't enjoy what they're doing. You have to enjoy it or, mm -hmm. or it's not worth it. Like, I like, I really, really like to watch, and not to watch anymore, but to listen to the Eagles. And when they reformed, I hated it because they're all sitting on stools. They don't even make eye contact. They don't like each other. They right. don't stay in the same hotels. And I'm saying, that's not a band. Whereas when we get together, we live all over the world, two in Ireland, two on Vancouver Island, one in Montreal, one down in Florida. 
But when we do get together, we have a great time. We're like little old ladies. We haven't seen each other in two <laughs> months. We say, well, what did you do for the last two months? And we genuinely like each other. And that's important in any band. It doesn't matter if you're Celtic or rock and roll or rap. You have to like each other to, to make good music. We're going to talk more about making good music just when we get back this break.